Hello there, it's Clive from the Outdoor here and uh, today I want to talk to you about an exciting new range of walking poles that we've recently taken on at eOutdoor. Now the company is Compadel. They've been making walking poles since 1922. They're an Austrian company based originally in Vienna and the original poles that they made were, were made from hazelnut wood. But since they have time they've come a long way thankfully <laughs> and uh, their poles these days are made from aluminium and carbon fiber now you might say why do we need walking poles and uh, many people might be quite dismissive of them but they are a huge help to uh, any walker whether you're a long distance multi-height walker or just a day walker there are three ways in which walking poles can majorly benefit your walking experience. Firstly they help uh, take some of the wear and tear that you might feel upon your legs especially your knees and ankles and even more so when you're descending from a hill. The, your knees and ankles take a lot of the uh, compression and jarring of a walking experience but if you have walking poles you spread that to your arms so it offers you uh, an added benefit of protecting to some degree. Now this enhances your walking experience in as much that you're able to walk somewhat faster if that's what you want to do but you can cover a greater distance not feeling so worn out, worn and tired in your legs and not ending up with knee ache and things like that. Using walking poles it's a full body experience you're using your arms as well as your legs so this helps strengthen your back strengthen your stomach muscles your torso so again it overall improves um, your performance also that it offers you greater stability when you're engaging in wet or snowy ground something like that or tricky terrain in some way rather than having two points of contact with the ground it offers you four points of contact with the ground. So again, that gives you that, that greater sense uh, of stability, enabling you uh, to stay upright a bit better, <laughs> which is what we want, isn't it? So the overall benefit health-wise that you get from your walking experience is enhanced a lot more. I've been on several long distance walks and I've definitely found that using walking poles has helped me uh, throughout that walk. So having said that, I want to go through the uh, poles with you and the features of these poles. We have six from the range, six of their most popular poles, and uh, they all have different features. And I just want to run through some of those with you to um, give you an oversight of the, what they are and to help you to choose the pole which best suits you for uh, the walk that you may have in mind. Okay, well let's first look at the handles. This is uh, a rubber, rubber handle which gives good insulation from the cold, shock and vibration in use. However, the problem with rubber can be, I'm not saying it is, but it can be, that when it gets very hot and sweaty it can chaff and blister. Similarly this handle here is a rubber handle but hopefully you can see it's got um, a pattern on it to give you extra grip. Similar thing. This handle here is, is a foam handle. Foam uh, is very good or is better at absorbing sweat. It is not so good at absorbing vibration but it is good has a good comfortable feel to it when you're grasping it this is cork now cork again um, is not sweat absorbent but it does offer you good protection from vibration and uh, blows to the stick so your hand does not get so jarred and again it gives you good fairly good insulation this one's another rubber patent and the last one here is a plastic PVU something like that 
uh, handle. Again, it's not sweat absorbent. When your hands get really hot and sweaty, it can get a bit slippery. Um, and again, it doesn't offer you massive protection in terms of vibration or impact when you're hitting the ground. There are two kinds of straps that, that are on offer here. One of them has a, a felt lining to give that added comfort to uh, your hand when you're wearing it and it is adjustable here and then the other one does not have the lining it's very simple and straightforward but it is still adjustable you can tighten it up to whatever degree you want in your hand all of the uh, walking poles have either got a steel or a tungsten tip to them so that is hard wearing, obviously this is the bit that's going to be hitting the ground most of the time. So it gives you a hard wearing tip. It lasts, what more is to say? It will last. <laughs> and then we look at the locking mechanism. Most of the poles have flip locking mechanism, uh, but this particular one, which is the Wild Rambler, has a twist and lock mechanism. They're all lightweight aluminium, these mechanisms, and they're easy to use. The locking mechanism is the easiest to use when wearing gloves, so this is preferable to a lot of people. And some people find with the twist and lock, if you don't twist it properly and make sure it's locked, you can be walking along and lean on it and it will suddenly slip, which is something you really do not want. All of the poles have uh, these trekking baskets, which has got a, a simple uh, clip-on mechanism to fit it on the bottom. It is firm and solid once it's on, but if you want to take it off and swap it for a larger one, you can get accessories for these poles. Then uh, it's fairly easy to get it off and, and undo it and take it off. So there we are, that is the major features of these Compadel walking poles. If you want to see which features are individual to any particular pole and the price comparison, then please go to our website and see. And one of the major plus points which I've left to last is that Compadel give a three year guarantee to all their poles against any damage, wear and tear. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful and uh, enjoy your walking this spring, this summer and stay upright, eh? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye.